joy of collecting Mr. Men, I think it's those bright colours, the, the happy faces, Mr. Happy. They've got such lovely morals into the stories. My name is Ben, I'm from Eastbourne, and my Mr. Men collection is so big that it needs a museum in Eastbourne. I grew up with autism and I, I found that with my autism, collecting the Mr. Men and Little Miss was a way that I could cope. My love for Mr. Men began when mum read me the books as a little child. And then I got hooked. I'm Kate and I'm Ben's mum. And we started off just reading Ben Mr. Men books as many parents do with their little children. And he was just absolutely hooked on the Mr. Men from the word go. He loved the stories and the bright colours. I think the joy of collecting Mr. Men, I think it's those bright colours, the, the happy faces, Mr. Happy. And, and then you've got uh, the fact of, they've got such lovely morals into the stories. I mean, I think every child has been read a Mr. Man book at one point in their life. I think the first item that I had, I, I went to a book market and I got a big black sack full of Mr. Man McDonald's toys. The very first ones that came out from McDonald's. We would have Mr. Tickle. We would have Mr. Happy. We would have Mr. Greedy. We would have Mr. Nosy. We would have Mr. Strong. We would have Mr. Small. We would have Mr. Bump. We would have Mr. Funny. We would have Mr. Silly. Mr. Lazy. Mr. Chatterbox. Little Mr. Chatterbox. We would have Mr. Sneeze. And we would have Mr. Mischief. Ben's dream for many years now has been to open a Mr. Men museum and it's the perfect job for him. There's nothing he doesn't know about Mr. Men. I hope for the future to have a Mr. Men museum, a Mr. Greedy's cafe, an indoor children's play area and I hope to have it in Eastbourne where the old Fort Fun was and to turn all that into Mr. Men land. I think I've got about three and a half thousands items in my collection. I can show him one item and he will straightway go, I haven't got that, or yes, I've got that one, Mum. And it's up to me to find and search out the items and him to tell me whether or not he's got them. I am very much hoping to beat the Guinness World Record of the Mr. Men and Little Miss. I would say that I have all of my Mr. Men, when they're not in this room, carefully in storage, ready for when we want to open the museum. I think my favourite item would be my Mr. Men pencil case and it has Mr. Bump on it. Ben's obviously been collecting now probably over 23 years so you can imagine how much we've spent in that time. I mean it sounds a huge amount, it's probably about 30,000 but you've got to imagine that is spread over 23 years and some of the more rare items obviously cost more money. When I have my museum in Eastbourne hopefully I get a, a job that I can do.